Hi friends. So now the moment I was waiting for and I think all of you were waiting for has arrived. Well, today our very favorite Vidya Balan is going to be my special guest. All of you know that Vidya Balan is one of the most versatile, one of the most popular and respected actors we have. How many actors can put a national five national awards film fair awards uh padma shri and so many things into their kitty she's one of the most acclaimed actor one of the most loved actor who lives every role that she did so today i'm very excited and waiting to see her i think uh, she has six film fair awards national award and the ultimate padma shri so today uh, i want to introduce her before she comes she came into films with uh, music videos and then she tried to do malayali films and sadly she didn't have too much success in that she had a lot of disappointment and then she did some bengali films and nobody knew and i think least of her she must have imagined what a fabulous success of a career she was going to have so this is a lesson to all of us we mustn't give up when we have disappointments we should not think that that is the end of the road be it anything be it films be it any other career which you all take on understand that the beginning may be a little rocky and then what follows can be the ultimate success so i um, i think i am going to i don't know if vidya has already tried to join us I did tell her give us few minutes uh, till we start so I can introduce her and um, today I will say I have a lot of questions but if any of you have any special questions which you want to ask her you could quickly post them here and I'll try my best to uh, have Vidya answer those well what you all know about her she came um, into films with Pariniti which was Parinita which was one of her most acclaimed roles and out of the blues she was there with the two top stars sanjay dat and saif ali khan and she was totally the most loved character so i think this kind of a beginning is a dream beginning for any actors but nobody knows what goes the heart breaks the struggle which goes before this very dream uh, launch so let's see uh, wait for vidya to join us okay so i'm going to just quickly okay i think she's uh is my network okay can you all uh, see me clearly okay I just sent her a request to join us, and I think she's going to be joining us in just a minute. Hi. Hey, hi, Vidya. I'm sorry if I made you wait because I myself was a little confused what was oh. happening. Trying to join, but I'm glad you sent me a request because I was unable to join. How are you? I'm good. My God, you've lost so much weight, Vidya. How okay. nice you're looking. some of us are gaining some of us are losing this lockdown has been you know something of a different kind of an experience for everybody i so know how, how has the experience been for you it hasn't been bad at all actually uh done a lot of work around the house <laughs> tried my hand at cooking you know because we were short staffed um and we had one girl at home who was doing the cooking so to give her a break i got into the kitchen finally and uh, I realized that I can, if push comes to shove, I can, you know, cook something. Get if that was one of the things I wanted to ask you. Are you cooking during this period? Because I think all of us have become this grand chef, and thanks to Instagram.
Instagram and YouTube, we are getting so many interesting recipes too. So, yeah. uh, what did you cook oh, with? I, honestly, I didn't try anything complicated. <laughs> it's just calm, chill out. I would call my mom sometimes, or then you know, just ask my sister, and that was about it. I didn't follow any. major recipes or do anything fancy i've not become a chef <laughs> which by the end of it but you've done something better which everybody would dream of you've become shakuntala devi my goodness a genius um, so i think this has been the most amazing uh, film of this kind there's so many films have come on the ott but honestly that's been one of my favorites and i'm sure it's everybody's favorite because we were all fascinated by shakuntala devi we were fascinated by her mind but we knew nothing about her as a person yeah. you know, as a human being to be yeah. this amazing computer brain and what kind of a human being does that make you so uh, what did you learn while doing this role of shakuntala devi that you know geniuses are also human beings they also yeah. get hungry they also eat <laughs> they also <laughs> they can also get angry they can be difficult they can love like crazy to the point of possession being possessive uh, being possessive i think all these things because you know i'd always wonder especially you know we know of some geniuses um in a, like i know of people who i look up to and i've said wow you know such a genius but i've not known any mathematician in that sense you know so i anyway maths is a kind of subject where which most people are afraid of you know so like for your math you've done really well in your math in school <laughs> you were almost there as a genius <laughs> hardly poonam ji but i think uh, i was a decent student for sure but i think uh, you know i always wondered what it would be like to be a mathematician or a scientist and i got opportunities to play a scientist and mathematician back to back that's so lucky you got to play Mission Mangal, you were the female scientist brain. Yeah. So I think you've been really blessed to get these amazing roles. Yes, you got to be even like the sexy cabaret dancer too. <laughs> you got a whole range, a variety of roles to do. Yeah, so yeah. After this role, I've always been curious. So today I'm going to ask you: When this role was offered to you, and we know what Silkmita's dream persona was, and what an unfortunate death she had. Did you immediately say yes, or you said I'm going to think about it? Will there be a lot of revealing? Will there be, uh, you know, all those kind of scenes, and will there be anything too daring? Were you apprehensive at all, or you just took it head on? You no, know, uh, you know, I normally take time to decide. So yes, I did take time, uh, but I was also concerned because, you know, I didn't. Um, I was scared that. people would feel like the choices she made led her to end her life you know uh and i was a bit concerned about that but then milan had just started writing the story it wasn't a full fledged script yet yeah so um when then when he came to me with the full script uh by then the news was already out that i'd been approached and then there were people telling me are you crazy this film is not for you you know you have such a girl next to you image and all that what i mean you know with your image this very uh, different image i don't want to say anything about it but it definitely wasn't a silk sita uh, uh, persona you know so exactly that, yeah that is what i was most concerned that how did they would just agree to do it or you said i'm taking on this challenge because it is a challenge i'm going to take it on no but when i read pip punam ji uh two things i felt like you know there was a full uh, they had done her justice it didn't look like she had given up on life even though in a sense she did uh you know i felt like she was a fighter throughout and uh, a difficult life and she uh, made something out of it yeah exactly exactly yeah. and milan lutria is a big reason i said yes to the film for because i knew he would always whatever he did there would be a decency to it you know he was a good director half the faith is that that he's not yeah. going to be doing anything which i'll regret correct and i started my career with ekta kapoor who was producer on the film i started my career on hum panch and yeah. i knew you know i could sit and talk to ekta face to face and say listen 
these are my concerns um you know i wanted uh certain clauses put into the contract and all and i think they were very understanding they were very um they said you know whatever makes you feel comfortable we're never going to do anything you know even if you shoot a scene and you're not happy with it we won't keep it in the film thankfully well, that's very reassuring. yeah that is very reassuring i think that really um and i have to say that it it was an experience where on set i always felt safe um you know it's it's i never felt like i remember at one point milan lutria told me he said you know why do you trust me so much i said why do you not want to trust me <laughs> trust do you not want me to trust you he said no you know it it has responsibility that much more pressure on me to just take care of you also we had a wonderful cinematographer poonam ji who is no longer bobby singh um mm-hmm. yeah he died very young and it was very sudden death it was uh i still sometimes can't believe it but bobby had a lovely lovely a uh, personality he used to keep cracking jokes and dirty jokes so i used to tell him that you know you're because <laughs> you crack such jokes the picture pales in comparison <laughs> <laughs> that is such funny that's a funny story so you know i'll do a little homework on you before i could let me be prepared yeah so uh, tell me you got married in the midst of your peak of your career right yeah did you have any thoughts that was in the right thing uh, will it affect my career though of course today's time is so much different you know when we all were working zero mm-hmm. in career means over but still did I, you have the apprehension at all that i may suddenly be caught as a married woman and nobody may want to do some with me no you know um i wasn't so scared actually i wasn't scared at all but i remember i met a couple of people i won't take their name very senior people from the industry who said you know what is the rush why do you want to get married you're at the peak of your career and uh, i said but you know my generation i'm sure <laughs> because they are this is like pagal ho gaya tum 24 saal ki ho shaadi kar rahe ho but many also got married i think at 22 to 23 i got right. married at 24 and you're like are you mad 25 or something like that I right. thought it was hara kar rahe ho ka career but in law ke it did not affect and you were not apprehensive no you know so um it, it did not it wasn't playing on my mind at all um i wasn't scared because i said you know i want to be acting for the rest of my life so at some point i am going to get married <laughs> so you know and i was with someone i wanted to get married to so i said it's okay dekha jayega but i have to tell you poonam ji after that a uh, five to six films of mine uh, didn't work lagatar and i have to admit that that question yes. did cross my mind i said oh is there some truth to it but then when i looked around me i saw a few married actresses for example i saw karina kapoor and she was doing very well so i said it has nothing to do with marital status it has to do with the film not working <laughs> exactly unfortunately yeah. the actor takes the brunt of it but yeah. i think and nobody talks about a male actor being married at all it- Actually, it doesn't affect the charm at all. <laughs> Married, father, nothing. You know, nothing matters. But I, I'm glad that that is changing now. Yes, uh, yes, yes. And you contributed to it, Lydia. Yeah? I think you changed that was, bit of that. Uh, you know, uh, stigma attached to mar- married heroines. You talked about Savina. I think you are one of those who no, decided later to say she was one of the heroines who took the stigma away from uh, married heroines. Oh wow! Thank you, thank you. But can yeah. I? I think yeah. um do do you now when you look at actresses working post marriage post motherhood do you have a little like pang like why couldn't that have been the case when i was in films you know unfortunately i would say that so many things we missed because yeah. we early or we were a little early sometimes some of my co-actors of that time like padmini was a friend of mine he said yeah hum bahut jaldi aa gaye the Shit, today there is television, there is events, there is shows. We used to do all events as friendship, you know, go to somebody's thing and be there as a friendly gesture. We never charged for anything. The that... amount of money to be made in today's time, we miss that. I think. <laughs> I'm sure. But yeah. do you have plans of getting back full time to acting? Full time, maybe not. I've been doing like one two films a year. That... I've been doing that. 
because yeah. I felt uh, as an actor, so when my son was born, I was just sitting at home, and I think it affected my uh, temperament to some extent. Maybe I became more anxious. Maybe I was a little more nitpicking. And yeah. my sister, who's a doctor, um, she told me, and my brother also was a doctor, told me, "Kudam, you need to work. Mm. You know, whatever you do, you can't sit at home and be this." Uh, grumpy person who is yeah. you know feeling very lonely and feeling so i took on a television serial at that time and people were are you crazy hey, kill your career whatever is left out of it my still... son my son no no which show was that that was a series called uh, andaz which i have yeah. produced it. and right. everybody thought it was like a real come down for a you know actor and a star to do television oh. and how things came subsequently it became like everybody of course we do television and in fact they were wanting to promote the films to television things and of yeah. course all scenarios different the respect which is god so tell me when you had some failures in the beginning whether it was being uh, you know asked to maybe being replaced in malayali films or not getting what you thought your dreams were till here and when yeah. you didn't reach that you never gave up so what kept you going or were you a little demoralized and when Uh, for it to happen was that a big shock and surprise ki ye kya ho gaya i didn't expect such a big it's like a lottery <laughs> i i think uh, you know i was definitely demoralized when i was going through all that i think it did shake up my confidence there were times when i asked myself you know why are you putting yourself out there is it even worth it because maybe you're never going to make it but you know there used to be um, especially when i went through that spate in the south i go to bed crying but wake up with renewed hope and vigor the next morning i tell myself okay i'll give myself one more day let's see what happens so i think i i began to live one day at a time and things actually worked out but i think what held me in good stead poonam ji was one of course family support yes which uh, i'm i'm very fortunate to have always had um also faith that you know the world is a fair place i've been brought up to believe that you know it doesn't matter even if it takes time but things will happen in your for your higher good so i think because of that i kept hanging in there so were you like praying and going to spirituality holy places mannats and all of that no oh, actually i i pray a lot anyway so yes but i used to go to sai baba mandir close to my house in chembur um at, at night and sit there and cry and i used to have conversations with sai baba you know and there are people who seen me i thought no one was watching me then but there are people who apparently would say oh pagal ladki aa gayi yahan ke baap karti hai so one of the things i wanted to ask you in today's time it's everybody's aspiration to be in the movies or be in front of the screen whatever form of a camera they can be and this the numbers is so humongous and they're so big that everybody cannot be gratified however positive they are however good they may be some are talented some are not and the the economics of films is such that as a favor nobody takes anybody whether it's your son or your cousin or your nephew nobody is going to take anybody in movie and spend 40 crores on it right exactly so you are one of the people who came from totally from nowhere i'm one of those who came from chandigarh against my will so right. you know so much heartbreak for young people at yeah. least we actually we had our family staying with us you were a bombay girl so your family was there a lot of young kids come from far away and they don't yeah. even have that family support maybe they've kind of rebelled against their family and come yeah. how can we uh, guide or support those people for me you know that's just something of concern uh, because i feel it's not the easiest of careers for anybody yeah whether it's my children who are uh, you know uh, having a home here and parents here for anybody it's not the easiest of careers so how do we help those people is there something we can guide them to say ki okay you do try after that if it's not working out it's not the end of the world you should do yeah. something parallel you should have a second option and a fall back plan yeah you know i strongly believe that poonam ji because even when i was waiting for things to happen i didn't know i would get an opportunity in films uh but you know i was doing a, i'd done a little bit of television and i wasn't enjoying that and uh, i began to do a lot of ad films but side by side i was also studying 
I did my BA in sociology and then I went on to do my MA in sociology. I worked with an event management firm only because, you know, one, it's not just uh, for those who come from out of town or who even who are from here and who are not financially that sound. It's not just for them to give you financial security, but I think it keeps your mind occupied because, you know, I love, um, I, I read this once that if you stand at the door waiting for someone to come, they're not going to come any faster than they're supposed to. Be much longer. <laughs> yeah, meant to, you know, it feels that much longer. So I think you need to um, do something else also so that you derive your sustenance from somewhere else. Um, I, I think, think that's very good advice because this is what I tell all the people. I said, you know, just by sitting at home and waiting for it to happen, it may not, okay, even if you're struggling, five days in a month, 10 days in a month, you still have 20 days left. Yeah. So, you know, do something. Everybody has, and I think a fallback career or a fallback interest or yeah. anything, passion is very important. Absolutely. So this is what I want to tell all our people who are going to be watching it later or now, that don't be fully dependent because then you can get depressed, then you can get yeah. demoralized. And, you know, you feel it's your individual failure where it may not be, you know. Yeah. See the numbers, see the numbers, the millions and millions who want to be in film. Yeah. So and it makes sense yeah. not to put all your eggs in one basket. Yeah. You know, and exactly. then you might be surprised, like you said, you know, when you're occupied with something else, it feels like things are happening much faster. But if you stand at the door, <laughs> it's not going to expedite. A you know, so, one of the things I've learned with eggs, all these, like you said, all your eggs in one basket. And I keep seeing all those uh, proverbs and the saying which our elders used to say a stitch in time or this that they all seem to be absolutely bohati wisdom ke saath aati hai wo <laughs> I'm like okay I think I'm getting old because I find them very very true today I see ye sari jo cheeze hai na bohat uh, birds of feather flock together sobat ka asar all that I yeah. am actually quoting all that to my kids quite often you know <laughs> I said ab to ye ho gaya hai okay now my question one of my uh, thing was to you by the way, uh, before you go on, I just want to say, I've been wanting to say it from the beginning of the interview, you're looking lovely, as uh -huh. always. Thank really? you, Rita. Thoda gold matol, but I think it's better to be a little extra and have a uh, shine on your face than to look as if you're totally, uh, you know. <laughs> you're lovely, period. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, my dear. Thank you so much. And so are you. You're looking gorgeous. Thank you're looking Thank rested, refreshed. Uh, after the success, how you feel, very, very yeah. happy, it's showing on you. <laughs> so, um, I would also want to ask you, if there's one habit of yours you wanted to change, like you wish you didn't have that, whether it was a, a habit habit or a physicality or anything, what would that be? I feel I I wish I wasn't so emotional, I wish I didn't get so angry. What would you want to say? Mine has to do with sleep, Poonamji. Actually, because I have, I used to have insomnia for the longest time and I've definitely improved. But the problem is, if I sleep late so jaun, then the next day I won't get sleep on time. Still. So that, huh, that's a huge struggle for me, you know. So I try and get into bed two, three hours before I, I have to sleep. So, if I, uh, phones before sleep, something like that? No, I don't. Uh, I try not to use the phone, but kafi bar ho jata. The ideal thing would be not to use the phone before. But I've even stopped reading or anything because it keeps my mind occupied. You know? But I find television gives me such vivid pictures. Yeah. Especially if you're watching a very exciting show, then your whole. Uh, body is quite, act and your mind is quite activated. I get those visuals, maybe because we are film people, we get more stronger visuals than most people. Very, very strong visuals, right? With the intercut, with the music, with everything is happening. So I find that disturbing sometimes. It's better to watch something calming and soothing. True. Uh, that's, that's the problem even I have, sleeping late, but I enjoy sleeping late. Oh, I, I kind of fight my sleep because I think that's my time to myself. Right. I really, you know, want to away from everybody, no phones, no housework, no nothing. So, so also tell me in this time, other than cooking, is there any one skill you have learned in these five, six months of uh, sitting at home? 
um you know i've i think i've learned to fix a uh, light bulbs <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, I went to the extent of trying to fix my AC because one day it just gone. But वो मेरे से नहीं हुआ. But at least I tried. There were lots of things that I didn't think I would ever do. Like you know, I enjoyed Poonam ji doing the housework with Siddharth. I was telling uh, the other day. Is he also a house buddy? Is he like house proud? Wants to do things around in the house? Yes, absolutely, and you know, but normally there's no opportunity to do it, right? But this time, the amazing thing was we were both doing our bit, and I was telling him, who would have thought that we'll be sharing this? We'll be sharing housework, you know, from your Aru Ocha. We are romancing, Vidya. <laughs> exactly, you know. I think we got to see. Uh, I'm anyway very hands-on in the house, and. I I do a lot of cleaning work around the house. I've got slight OCD, but oh. this was, of course, over an extended period of time. You were having to do it every day, you know. So I think then you also uh, appreciate your staff a bit more, na? For Because sure. Har roj ye karna hai unko, must be so boring. It's okay. Because one of my friends once told me, "Ki try doing it for a week. Har roj agar jhadu karna hai, you won't move every sofa, every chair, everything out of the way, and do it underneath." You also yes. start doing it around after a while, which made me really appreciate them a little bit more. True, true, absolutely. Um, and I, and I hope they all got adequate rest in this time. You know, I'm sure they had their stresses to deal with, but I also now realize how physically exhausting this is. Yeah. So I hope. I hope a lot of them went back home, and I hope they got time with their loved ones. Like sometimes I feel, you know, unke liye to Sunday, Saturday. they don't really get breaks we all have the luxury of that so maybe this was a universe's way also of giving all those who are working continually some respite and also for us to realize how much they contribute to our lives absolutely absolutely the comfort and the uh, whatever luxury of working without worrying too much is because somebody is looking after our house right oh absolutely yeah. you know i realized when i was cooking Is that it's so easy to say? Arey, आपने तो बहुत तेल डाल दिया है. But you know, cooking yourself, the easiest thing to do <laughs> is. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, my son has been telling me, "Mom, stop telling him not to put oil. The food is tastier when you put oil." <laughs> so that is something which we see. Okay, I have a question because recently this is a new trend, and in our time this wasn't there at all. Do you still have to audition for your roles? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Thankfully, no. I have suddenly seen everybody saying audition, yeah, audition. I was wondering, do they ask uh, senior actors to audition today? No, no, they don't. So you know, I tested for Parinita, of course, but that since your first big film you did, yeah. right? But after that, I haven't uh, given any auditions. So for the sexy Sixmita role, you didn't have to no. audition. No. <laughs> okay, because that was so anti-image of yours. So yeah. you know, I did you audition for that film or not? So uh, in today's stressful time, how do you handle stress? What is your stress mantra? You know, my honestly, I spend a lot of time by myself, Poonam ji. So that I think just sometimes not watching anything, not listening to anything. I sit on the balcony and watch the waves. That's yeah. very soothing. Yeah. Soothing, soothing, soothing. And um, I I pray a lot. So and of course my. Um, Understanding of prayer has changed over time, so it's not about asking for anything; it's just about saying thank you. And um, I think also spending—I talk a lot. <laughs> You've realized that already, but to God also. <laughs> <laughs> so I have verbal diarrhea, but I talk to Siddharth if I'm going through something, or you know about how the day was. And my niece and nephew are my real sp- uh, stress busters. Um, So I call them once a day wherever I am in the world, and I speak to them. Suddenly, I feel everything's good. They're my sister's uh, children, her twins. You have only one sister. One sister, yeah, just two of us. Oh, how wonderful! Because my yeah. sister is also one of my closest, closest people I, in the world. Oh, Doctor Rish, so, Rishi, so uh, she's. You know, Rima, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pa, um, uh, you know, I went to her to understand because I was playing a gynecologist. So I just. Oh. 
to ask her some things if they asked me to check a pregnant woman in the scene or something like that and women also so you needed her more than once <laughs> doctor has been lovely oh, she is a wonderful doctor and she's a even more wonderful sister so i'm really blessed to have I'm her i'm sure yeah Now, she's right. all time support yeah so I'm I want to ask you about prayers and spirituality because for me that's something which matters a lot, and I you've already told me how important it is. So I think we reiterate to all our people who are watching that how important it is, you know, to have that connection with the Almighty. So ये भी खराब दिन भी हैं, but these will pass as long as you know you're positive and you have a lot of uh, strength, emotional strength, mental strength. Yeah. You know. feel that um i won't say it's important to pray because i believe but for example siddharth is not a believer we we really belong to two ends of the spectrum uh i keep joking saying mere pooja room mein agar main kisi ko chupa bhi do he won't get to know because he never <laughs> said <laughs> so it's that opposite attract huh yes in the real sense yes but beauty is that neither of us has tried to convince the other to move over uh, but i think it's just about uh, i think the most powerful tool i have realized to get by anything in life is to give gratitude that works very well uh, for me because i feel when you give gratitude for anything you know like at the end of the day if i say um thank you for this lovely insta live that i did with poonam ji that then i just feel like it can be anything not just big things like thank you for the job or the house or the family i'm saying the or thank you because someone smiled at me beautifully or play, paid me a compliment you know life gives you more reasons to uh, this. this is for me the best thing you have said because people are so willing to grumble and complain and say ye theek nahi hai wo theek nahi hai and this simple thing ya har cheez ke liye you are grateful and you appreciate it you love it and you enjoy it more yeah. because of that. i know people are asking some questions from you i'm like uh, really? yeah, but yeah i told you everyone doesn't need a hero in a movie you are the main one and the movie is always so amazing that is so nice that someone somebody has just said to you so you are the hero and the heroine in the movie oh, we all are the hero and heroine of our lives actually no yeah but that the kind of roles you've been getting i think all actresses would really like oh, i would kill for that role so are you still waiting for a role you still feel has not just done justice to you how 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 do you feel about you achieve so much with ya i mean yeah. is there still a hunger for doing more no there is uh, there's great amount of gratitude for this journey for the work for the love i've received but yes there's a long way to go if if you asked me at this point i'd say uh, this is what i want to be doing for the rest of my life so uh, there's a long way to go long long way to go yeah yeah exactly yeah. i think there are um, so many people i want to work with so many stories i want to tell so yes long way ahead so do you discuss the films or the roles with uh, uh, siddharth um, since he's also from the media he's a producer his uh, sensibilities are you know something quite amazing too right so, no you know uh, we discuss what's happening in our lives in terms of you know what i'm considering and things like that but oh, you know neither of us ask the other to read a script uh, or because you know the decision that decision has to be personal nahi to tomorrow kal ho sakta hai ki you know film nahi chali to i you said it's a good script yeah, or you or if you are confused then he would be your sounding board okay i am i am indecisive about this yeah. kya karta yeah 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 absolutely okay. and you know uh, he asks he never gives an answer he'll always ask questions and reply to a, if, I, if i tell him you know i'm confused he'll says just think about why just think about the story just think about the people so you know by putting these questions into my head suddenly the answer appears oh that's very wise of him so he yeah. still does commit that he's giving you any kind of uh, advice exactly so, uh, yeah. for the uh i do you have a time constraint with them because i can keep talking to you for the next one hour but uh, i i just want to know if you i would like to ask you first before i, I close i have another live at 7 o'clock 
So I'm good to go. In five, ten minutes. Yes, yes, sure. Okay, so um, I would uh, also want to ask you, uh, during, you know, all these years, you've had probably such a variety of roles you've done. But how does, uh, do you still look at your parents and think, how will they feel if they see me doing this? Or what will their reaction be? Do you have any kind of reservation from anybody in terms of timidness or shyness or anything when you're doing a role? You know, for example, when I was doing the dirty picture, I sat them down and I told them, I'm playing Silk Smitha. My father, unfortunately, didn't know who Silk Smitha was. So then I told him, you know, I gave him a background and I said, so I just want you all to be prepared to see me in a very different avatar. There'll be a lot of skin show. There'll be, it's a very brazen role. So my parents were like, okay, do you trust the people you're working with? Yeah, something like that. Very sensible question for your parents to ask, you know. Yeah, you know, uh, Puramji, whenever I asked them for any advice before Siddharth came into my life, they would tell me, uh, what does your heart say? And I'd say, this is what, and they'd say, okay, then that's, go with, that's listen to your heart. Because they, they're not from films, right? So they would never be in a position to give me advice saying, oh, do this or do that. They would always say, do what feels right. So same thing, they told me, do you trust the people you're working with? I said, yes. And they knew Ekta because, you know, we would meet at Siddhi Vinayak when I was doing Hampanch. We would all land up at Siddhi Vinayak at the same time for Darshan on Tuesdays. So oh, they be good. <laughs> you know, they, they felt like, oh, if Ekta is involved, then it will be good. So I think uh, they're fine. They were fine about it. But I, I think uh, probably... I don't have reservations really, but of course, if, for example, I was doing really something, uh, something really bold and, um, you know, maybe I, I, I would have a conversation with Siddharth and with my family. Because, you know, for them, finally, it's not Vidya Balan, the actor they're watching. Yeah. It's for Siddharth, it's his wife. For my parents, it's their child. You know, and now I have to I tell you. Ask that, you that question. I, because I have always had that in the back of my mind. If the parents right. are going to watch this still, I'll still imagine right. it, what will they see. And right. when you made the big decision of getting married to Siddharth, did you just announce it to them or did you uh, kind of ask their opinion? What do you feel? Do you think I should do it? Or you were clear cut totally? They actually knew before I did. Oh, that's <laughs> He had told my sister. So I think she had obviously told my parents. So they knew when I when he proposed and I was like, I didn't think, I thought, you know, we both like each other and we were talking marriage and stuff. So I didn't think there was, uh, when he proposed, I was a bit taken aback. I was like. <laughs> oh, nice. This is a surprise. Yeah, it was. So um, then when uh, I called my parents to say, you know, um, He's proposed. He's, yeah, he's proposed and they were like, oh, great. I was like, why have they reacted like that? Then I got to know later that they already knew. It's a sensible thing to do. He won them over first. <laughs> yeah. He's a charming man. I think he'll win over anybody. But True. Whenever I met him, I think he's such a gentle, charming man. And uh, I think he's one of the nicest people. Oh. Uh, and so I think uh, you both make such a wonderful couple. So who's the dominating partner in this relationship? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I think at different points, it's, uh, you know, it's him. Sometimes it's him. Sometimes it's me. Oh, so I so you both get your little ups and little downs. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like someone asked me, you know, who makes up after a fight? And I was like, sometimes he makes up, sometimes I make up. It just depends on who feels that they have to say sorry <laughs> or have to, has to make up. Yeah, that's such a wonderful thing. Okay, now uh, body shaming. Yeah. That is something we all women in our country or all over the world actually have to face. And you have been somebody who has been defiant and said, listen, this is what I am and take it or leave it and I'm not going to. You actually put on weight to do that role of uh, Silsmita, right? Which is very daring. Very few women want to put on weight for doing a role. 
you know about this part of uh, especially being a public figure we are always you know subjected to anybody's opinion yeah and that's yeah that's especially kind sometimes yeah you know um under so much scrutiny and it used to affect me a lot before when people would criticize my body uh but honestly poonam ji i worked on developing a thick skin in the sense that i i i have enveloped myself in self love and therefore i think that does not uh, it didn't it wasn't easy it's taken a lot of work but i'm glad i've reached a stage where it doesn't affect me any more and you know i had developed a lot of uh, health issues in between um and therefore i was after the dirty picture actually i started putting on more and more weight um but i i was very sure of one thing that i wouldn't let anything come in the way of me being an yeah. you know no, i was reading somewhere about uh, sushmita and health issues and how putting on weight the women have so many hormonal issues there so yeah. many issues which people just come in like just judge i mean nobody yeah. is just eating themselves into gluttony for god's sake you know there's so yeah. many issues a person can have so but that you know- I think Poonam ji, um, it it annoys me that there's so much focus on, um, on on just the body, in our culture. I think it's not just in our culture; it's the world over, which is why there are all kinds of fat diets and exercise regimens. But I think no one focuses on just, for example, my issue settled when I when I. I began to feel happy with myself slowly it started my hormonal issues actually began to settle and then disappear with acceptance of the self of my body because you know we spend so much time hating our bodies and it's the, it's that very body which is keeping us alive yeah you have said such wonderful things which i'm sure a lot of people are going to get solace and strength from because that is what we need our role models they also go through those you know pains and insecurities and all of that so that is something which will make people understand that we are human beings behind whatever career you are in just right. because you are a star doesn't mean you are you know some kind of superhuman you are also uh-huh. hurting you are also having family you are also having household issues so all of that is very human So I think thank you so very much, Vidya. I I really have enjoyed talking to you. I and have been talking to you. Thank you very much, and it's so lovely to see you, even though remotely. And uh, <laughs> for me too. Thank you. Thank and you. And please do give a big hug to Siddharth from my side. I'm not a socially distant one, but an actual Punjabi jappi as they say. <laughs> so please, lots of love to you and to him. and we'll touch touch base again lots of love to one who's joined us on this live i'm sorry we didn't take any comments or because we were so we were so busy chatting so i'm going to look at the comments later and i'm going to apologize to the people if we missed out i know so many of them were chatting and saying so sorry please forgive us we were meeting each other after so long and really enjoying this conversation so thank you vidya uh, look Do- forward to seeing you again Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now. Hello.